Hello and what's going on everybody, it's Mike, I'm back with another episode of Everything and More Store, okay, uh, so today I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick little, uh, without taking too much of your time, I want to give you a quick little, uh, four little jewels that I could share with you, uh, something to look out for, so, um, four hot, uh, colognes and perfumes that sell, they're hot sellers, okay, so, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from start to finish, meaning the lowest, uh, selling i mean the lowest uh, uh you know valued product to the highest value product with these four perfumes and colognes so without further ado uh here we go now uh the first one okay this is probably the lowest of the value of all of them but nevertheless it's a hot seller okay so not in this particular fragrance it could be any fragrance um but this is dossier okay dossier originals now what makes this a hot selling product and, and a little bit more sought after is that it's a uh, it's a unisex? It's for men and for women. It's perfume, cologne, fragrance, whatever you may call. Okay, so um, the more common bottles are probably 1.7 fluid ounces. Okay, now um, magnetic top. I don't know if that has anything to do with the popularity. It does have a. They do smell pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. They're they're unisex. So it's kind of like you could probably wear it, but then your girl could probably wear it. You know. Um, so or whatever you know uh so anyway so um dossier originals there's a lot of different you know fragrance types of this bottle um and they're all real specifically unique like so you have like nutmeg like no one has that but them i have never seen that you know what i'm saying uh you'll have like something leather or like that's more of a common but my point is is that there's a lot of real specifically um specifically uh unique fragrance uh types in their line of fragrance of unisex fragrances so look out for this right here okay uh you me i get these all day for five bucks you know what i'm saying so they can go from if you want a quick sale 25 bucks but you could sell upwards of probably 40 maybe 50 i've seen them go for 50 even 60 or maybe in the bigger bottle more but this is the more common size that I usually see. So look out for that. Dossier Originals Unisex Perfume and Cologne. This right here is just a uh, Sunny Vetver and Nora. I don't know what that is, but people like it. So this is the number one on the list of hot selling perfumes, Celeste clones, whatever. Number two. Okay. Uh, Lalia. Okay. This is a, this is a kind of a, a cool brand for women and these don't last long. Okay. Now. Um, this is, uh, this bottle is 3.4 ounce. So this would be like a full size bottle for them. Right. Um, now this fragrance, uh, this is always in rose, but they got a lot of different ones and they're, they're, you don't see them as much. Maybe I think that's why, but they're pretty sought after. And whenever I have this brand right here, it doesn't last long, not in this particular fragrance, but this brand, any of this, these lines of fragrance, they always usually sell. Um, so this will go probably uh 50 bucks 60 bucks maybe something like that probably not more than 70 bucks but you know i think i might have got it for 10 bucks so it's a win for me so um look out for this not only this specific fragrance but also this brand lalia okay i'll let you guys see it in the camera you can get a better view lalia oh this is part this is number uh what they say number 39 rose and hibiscus okay this particular one. This actually just sold. I'm getting ready to ship it. That's why it's out. So that's number two in financial uh, value that these are being sold. Okay. So uh, what do we got here? Number three, man. Okay. Joe Malone, London. Okay. Joe Malone, London is a very sought after brand. Um, and depending on the fragrance, it could be even more. So this right here, I just sold this. This right here is a one ounce bottle, okay? As you can see, it's a one ounce bottle. This one ounce bottle, or slash 30 milliliter, depending on where you're at and how you measure weights of liquids. But uh, this is a French lime. If you can see, French lime blossom. This little bottle right here sold for 100, uh, 150, 100, 150 bucks, we'll just say. It's like either a little bit more, a little bit less. 150 bucks, right? This little one ounce bottle sold for 150 bucks. Some of the other ones, they still sell, just not to that value. Um, so, you know, some of the other ones, maybe a one ounce bottle might go for 50 bucks or something like that. But it's a great deal. So I got three of these for 20 bucks. 
straight to the moon with that one. You understand me? So that's third in value. Uh, and not just the one ounce bottles. They also have bigger bottles that sell for more. Certain fragrances, particular fragrances are worth more than others. So look out for this. Joe Malone, London. Any of these, okay? Now, uh, moving on to the last and final uh, fragrance in this set of four uh, little jewels that I'm giving you guys right now. Okay? Now this next one is a higher price item. And it's... Uh, it's a lot more rare. That's why you're not going to, uh, you know, get it for too cheap. But it's this, okay? Creed. Not this particular fragrance. Anything Creed is going to go. I've seen these go for as much as 500 bucks for this little, you know, thing. Uh, it, it's, I don't know. I mean, for whatever reason, it's just a sought after cologne. So this, this particular one is Creed Royal Water millisime okay as you can see okay now this cologne is four ounces slash 120 milliliter okay um they're they're sought after they're, they're not you don't see them that much you know it's a, it's just a very sought after uh cologne this is a cologne for men it's very sought after and it's something that's kind of rare so it, it, it'll always go for like a little bit more you know what i'm saying um, and this one, actually, now that I, now, I don't want to leave that out. This one, just so you know what you're getting. I don't necessarily see colognes and fragrances being uh, fraudulated too much. But it does happen, though. I've seen it happen. So, uh, look out for this. See this? Or any type of brochure in there with the little um, with the little European fellas just chilling in the bottom. And look out for all the touches on the box and stuff like that. Anyway, this is right here. I think I got it for 10 bucks, just to give you guys a little understanding of what to you know expect and what's realistic um in my you know personal area you know southern california um i got it for 10 bucks or something like that i don't think it was even more than 20 bucks i think it was like 10 bucks and i got it for sale for 260 something or something like that but i've seen them go upwards of 500 bucks okay so this is the highest selling one i'm gonna give you guys a bonus too i don't have the bottle with me but i've sold a couple of these before and it's a very unique perfume uh because I think it's discontinued and they never made that many, but it just picked up so much steam and it just started popping. It's called Vampire, okay? Look it up. It's called Vampire. Um, it comes in a little box. The two that I sold, I, I had two brand new boxes. I sold them each for like something around 200 bucks. I had them listed for a while for like 250 because there was no one that was selling them that price at the time. But then I think a couple people started outpricing me, so I had to get them out. Anyway, so I ended up selling them for like... 180 or 200 something around that but anyway i got it for five bucks each so it's a win-win situation so um vampire it comes in a little box it's kind of wide and a little bit short and then part of it has like a little vampire mouth or something like that and it's a red bottle and then you can see it it has like a a, a, a transparent little plastic window you can see through it and see it uh if you can get those for cheap get them because they're going for probably the minimum you're going to probably pay is like I mean, the, the the littlest that you could probably sell it for is probably like 150 Or if you are just don't know what you're doing, maybe 100 bucks. But at the end of the day, we're in business to make money. So me, I'm going to sell it for the rate or maybe just a sliver under the rate so I could, you know, get it sold. So anyway, that'll be all. So look out for these perfumes and colognes if you're uh, interested in selling on eBay. If you're already selling on eBay, this is just a little piece of information, the FYI, that might help you in your pursuit of, uh, you know, reselling and stuff like that. Uh, and that's about it, man. I appreciate all, all my um, friends and, you know, all my Sahaba and all my uh, people that support me. I appreciate you. That's what's up. I appreciate it. This channel's, you know, just getting started and I, I'm, I'm looking to get followers. I'm looking to get likes, comments. So if you just see this video and you feel like it might help you, give me a like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much. Mike with Everything and More Store. I'll see you next time.